An apology delivered, described in Guyana by some as bittersweet and others as not enough. To the people of Guyana. It was offered by descendants of the 19th century British Prime Minister William Gladstone, whose father John owned over 2,000 slaves on sugar plantations. It is with deep shame and regret that we acknowledge our ancestors' involvement in this crime and with heartfelt sincerity that we apologize to the descendants of the enslaved in Guyana. For some, the apology is an affront. Protesters held placards at the back of the room, some reading, reparations now. The Guyanese president says the apology can only be seen as a first step. The call for reparations is an essential response to right a historical wrong and mitigate the enduring legacy of slavery. The blades of history are sharp, and the Gladstones aren't the first to grapple with the sins of their forebearers. John Dower and other family members apologized for their ancestors' role in the slave trade on Grenada. This wound that was created over the last 400 years is absolutely huge. He and the Gladstones are part of a group called the Heirs of Slavery. We are trying to pave a way and trying to be part of a campaign to persuade bigger institutions, the government and maybe even the royal family to apologise and to engage in reparative negotiations. Britain's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has refused to officially apologise. Here, pressed in Parliament. But trying to unpick our history is not the right way forward and it's not something that we will focus our energies on. Last month, the Dutch king, Willem-Alexander, formally apologized for the Netherlands' historic role in the slave trade, following the Dutch government's the year before. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.